guys welcome to my channel i'm jordine if you're new here today's video is basically going to be a get ready with me a get to know me type of video i'm getting ready for work so i just decided to film it um these are products that i normally use on an everyday basis that i normally don't show on camera so i wanted to talk about a few of those as well as a little bit of information about me especially if you're new to my channel well, i normally always do my brows first this is going to be my quick brow I guess I'll start off with the basic information. My name is Jordine. I am 26. I turned 26 in May, so just 26. I am a mom, so I have a four-year-old daughter. Her name is Jolie. Jolie, my little baby. Um, yeah, I have one baby. I love her with all my heart. She is the funniest little thing. She is so funny. But yeah. So if you guys don't know, I am Jamaican. So I was born in Jamaica. I moved to America when I was four year old. Four? Yeah, four? Yeah, when I was four. So 1996 with my dad. Um, we moved here first. And then my mom, my brother, and my little sister came up after us um, in 2001. So yeah. I moved back and forth from Jamaica when I was little. So I did kindergarten here in America. And then I went back to Jamaica with my mom. First grade through third grade, yeah. And then we all moved up here in 2001, but I used to come to America during the summer months with my dad. And of course, my dad always traveled. Um, he would come about three times a year to Jamaica. He came to America basically for a better life, as most immigrants do. Um, he started his own business, and that's it. My dad is an entrepreneur. He owns his own business, and that's what we do here in America. He's actually a very hard worker. So, yeah, came here for a better life for us. Not that we had a bad life in Jamaica, to be honest. We had a really good life. Um, my parents worked so hard. I didn't realize that a lot of people didn't have it too good. But we had a pretty good life, so I'm really appreciative of that. I love how I'm talking about Jamaica and my accent is coming up. But yeah, I'm really appreciative about that because, um, you know, you don't realize how hard your parents work until you see or when you get older and see what other people are going through. Or you hear about what they were going through when they were younger and we never had to experience any of that. Um, even though people would think, you know, Jamaica is a third world country. I felt like we had it good. And I miss Jamaica sometimes, you know, growing up there. It was just so fun, carefree. We used to run around outside all the time. You didn't have to worry about crazy people. <laughs> I mean, of course there's crazy people, but there's not things that you, you thought about, you know, and then up here, especially me being a mom, that's one thing I worry about a lot. You know, it's like, who's around my child? Is she safe? This and that. So, it's just a different world. Just a different world. So, we live in Maryland. I don't know why we came to Maryland of all states to come to from Jamaica. You know, most people go to, what, Florida, New York. We came to Maryland. <laughs> Not that Maryland is bad. I actually really like Maryland. But yeah, that's where we live. My family lives in the United States. I have a couple of family members who are still in Jamaica, but mostly everybody lives either in the United States or um, in England or on some other island. But we still have people in Jamaica, still have properties in Jamaica. And one day I hope to actually 
build my own house down there. Just, you know, for traveling purposes. I don't think I'll ever move back to Jamaica. It's just not in a good position right now, that country. Government is really corrupt and it just won't be the same. So I went to Jamaica in May for my birthday. Me, my boyfriend, and our daughter went. She had a blast, <laughs> of course. Um, we had fun too, but you know, family trip. But she had so much fun. She loves Jamaica. My channel name is This is Black Beauty and the reason I named my channel that two different reasons because I'm black um, and because my aunt used to call me that when I was younger because um, I'm one of the deeper complected people in my family um, and <laughs> I had really, really long hair when I was younger, like really long down on my back. Just this really dark black hair, just wavy down on my back. And everybody, it was so funny, was like, where did this dark skinned girl get all this hair from? And I always thought that was funny because I mean, what? You don't expect dark people to have long hair? That don't make any sense. People are people, hair is hair. But that was the reason that basically I was, you know, the beauty because of my hair. It was really long, really wavy, really black. And she used to call me Black Beauty. So it made sense. It was my little nickname, Black Beauty. And then on top of that, my channel focuses on makeup that would work for you know women of color darker complected people so that's why i named my channel that i am the middle child i have an older brother and a younger sister they're amazing but yeah that's me so far i don't know what else to talk about So I like to do my eyes first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this um, BH Cosmetics palette as my base shades, and then I'm gonna go in with my Zulu palette. A lot of you already know, but I work at Sephora. I am, I don't even know what I am anymore. <laughs> I am a color consultant, a consultant. Um, so basically what I do at my Sephora is, um, consult on products. So I am a product junkie as we all realize right now. <laughs> so I work in both color, color is the makeup section and skincare. Um, I don't do skincare as much anymore unfortunately and I love skincare but I used to do it a lot um still help around with it though but basically I am that person that you can come to if you have questions about both worlds and I can assist you with that accordingly um I also help with services not my job title anymore but you know that's, that's what we're supposed to do. Um, help with services. So basically at my store we have skincare services and makeup services. So like makeovers, we have facials, things like that. So basically what I try to do is try to, you know, make sure those services go accordingly. Numbers are where they're supposed to be. So, yeah. I actually really like working at Sephora. 
I like seeing new things. It's actually a pretty good company to work for. I'm gonna go on with this, the Zulu palette. Um, I think I just wanna go on with like the blue shades today. Oh, how did I get into makeup? Um, I've always been a girly girl. I was that three-year-old that had a handbag walking around like I was grown. Um, but, you know, I've always been very girly. My mom used to sell Mary Kay, and I was just fascinated by, by that. thought it was so cool. She has this uh storage room basically it was called her mary Kay room in our house and she used to keep her makeup in there and you know she used to have those little samples that mary Kay used to give out when uh <laughs> you know when they were popping back in the day and she used to give them to me and i used to play around with them and everything and i thought it was the coolest thing ever you know that she Got to have all this makeup. Like, it was, you guys, a full room. She had, like, this glass case that I actually have now in my um, my room with my makeup in it. Uh, the storage case that she had basically displayed with acrylic um, containers holding the lipsticks. It was just so cool. And, <laughs> you know, that really got me into it. It, it was just so cool. And of course, you know, YouTube, when, so I used to, you know, play around with makeup and stuff, a little eyeshadow, mascara, nothing too crazy, because, you know, my mom wasn't really into that. You're not going to be wearing makeup out. You're young. What are you doing? You're not going to be wearing makeup, of course. Um, but, you know, she used to let me play around with a little bit of eyeshadow here and there. Nothing too crazy. And I really got into it in college. YouTube, of course, is your best friend, everybody's best friend, and I started off watching an eyebrow tutorial from, um, I can't talk right now, so I started off watching an eyebrow tutorial from Beauty by JJ, and I know you all know who that is. Miss Jenny Jenkins, and she was like the first person that I started watching. I thought she was amazing. Like her hair was popping. Like oh my gosh, bundles. Her her makeup just looks so good. So I used to watch her videos, like stay up, binge watching her videos until I was caught up on um all her stuff and you know it was pretty cool because she had this accent and I'm like oh my gosh she's from England <laughs> she's so cute she was so fashionable she is still fashionable um I still watch her you know just really cute really down to earth just chill so that's who I really started watching and then of course Jackie Jackie Ina started watching her little pumpkin 05 and then Jackie ended up being the person who most of my um foundation shades like we match we wear the same shades so she was like my go-to person like if i want to get something i know i have to watch a jackie ina video so that i can get the right shade because we used to match and like everything i mean we still do <laughs> and that's how it started and then who else did i used to watch Pixie Woo, oh my gosh. Love Pixie Woo. I used to watch uh, Gregory Gar Gorgeous, so Gigi. Gigi Gorgeous, don't watch her as much anymore. Just different stuff. Um, but Pixie Woo, still watch them here and there. So here I am in college, you know, getting into this makeup. You know, I don't really got that much money. 
you know, my parents used to send me money every week, thank God, because <laughs> I know a lot of people didn't have that. And I used to take my little $25 that I had, um, because Elf, EyesLipsFace.com, used to have, um, if you spend $25, you get free shipping. I hate paying for shipping. So I always do the minimum payment <laughs> to get free shipping. I'm so weird. Does anyone else do that? Like you buy the minimum payment so you can get free shipping, even though you don't need all that crap. But yeah. So that's what I did. I bought me a brush set from e.l.f. I think it was like $12 for 12 brushes. And some eyeshadow. I didn't buy foundation because I don't think at the time they had my shade. Um, mascara, eyeshadow primer. And then for Christmas, my mom got me this big old Sephora um, Blockbuster palette. You know they used to have those Blockbuster palettes? And for Christmas, I got that. So that's how I was like, you know what, sis? Like, I'm about to be lit. I'm about to be beating my face. And that's how I really got started on makeup. My mom got me a freaking Blockbuster eyeshadow palette from Sephora. And the rest is history. Here I am. Playing around with makeup, addicted to makeup, basically. Is there, like, a program for makeup addiction? Because I feel like I need to buy stuff all the time. Especially foundations. Like, I have to keep trying new foundations to figure out what is the perfect foundation. Like, that's, that's me right now. I'm on the hunt for the perfect foundation. That's why I have so many foundation wear tests. Because I need to know what's good out there. Oh, this is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am using that as basically another primer. It's like a a glow from within. So I'm going to go on with my YSL Tisha Claw All-in-One Glow. This is in the shade B80. This is like my go-to complexion item it's so good i've been working at sephora for almost four years um started in 2014 as a seasonal cashier if you're looking to get hired at sephora okay let me tell you the best time to apply okay seasonal when they need temporary hires because they're going to be interviewing oh <laughs> i went in with a little bit of my all hours on my nose just to keep it you know not that shiny throughout the day but yeah um so seasonal is a good time to apply when they need temporary hires and make sure if you do get hired and you want to say that you do your job, <laughs> go above and beyond so that you can stay. So yeah, um, I started off seasonal cashier and then they asked me if I wanted to interview for a core position. So that is permanent. And of course, I wanted to say, I was telling everybody I wanted to say, hey, you know, I want to stay so badly <laughs> annoying but yeah that was me and already a makeup junkie so you know I could answer a lot of questions but you don't have to be a makeup junkie to work at Sephora you can start off as a cashier, a cashier like I did and you know just get your foot in the door they train you you will learn so that's a tip also, after holidays is a good time to apply to. I try. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer now. I'm gonna use a mixture of my NARS Radiant Creamy.
I love this foundation so much. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but it looks so good. It's like my favorite thing right now. Setting my T-zone because I want to keep most of my face glowy and dewy. See, I don't want to take away from that. But of course, you know, we all got a little bit of oil. Um, and I'm just going to try this velour puff out and see how that works with my smile lines. Because sis, girl, <laughs> I don't know what, what is up. Like, I can't, I can't fix them. I use collagen. I, you know, like what, what can I do? Stop talking? Not smile? All right. So I'm using the little Laura Mercier velour puff, doing a little taco thing. And then I'm just gonna try to press that down. Contour with the matchstick, went in with a little bit of the BH palette, and then I'm using the Spice Market palette, it's pink shade at the bottom, and I'm gonna highlight with this one up top right here. So I'm interested to know how you guys found my channel and what made you decide to subscribe to my channel. If you would like, please comment down below and let me know. Like what video did you find and why did you decide to subscribe? I have, um, the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation Review and Wear Test coming up. It might be up before this one, actually. Um, I really like it. I tested it out yesterday. I wanted to wear it today to work, but... <sighs> You know, people always ask you questions when you're working in beauty on what you have on. So, decide to wear things that we sell. <laughs> I'm so for my eyes, which I know I'm gonna get questions on, but that's okay. But yeah, so a little bit of highlight. I don't know why my contour gets so washed out on camera. I'm gonna step back a little bit and see. Let me see. Like, it's there, but it gets so washed out. I guess it's my lighting. Somebody mentioned that in one of my videos, and I'm like, girl, yeah, you're right. I do bronze and contour, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, this should be strong. <laughs> It'd be there in real life, but on camera, it's not there. Like, why? All right, I'm going to set my face. Like, I need to go. So, I am going in with BFF3 from ColourPop. Have the bomb on. Guys, let me know what other products you want to see review. Um, I did mention that I have a couple of foundation wear tests coming up, but if you have a certain product that you want to see, let me know. And I'll try my best to get it. You know, I ain't rich. Oh, but I'll try. This is Anastasia Matte Lipstick in the shade Kiss. Oh, you know what I want to get? That Flesh Beauty from Ulta. Are you guys interested in seeing that? Should I buy it? Should I spend my money? Are y'all going to watch it? <laughs> and then I'm going in with Stilo Lip Gloss from Ellery and Colourpop. Oh, and ColourPop is coming out with their summer collection. Even though I didn't like their foundation, you know, I still like ColourPop. Don't get me wrong. Um, They're coming out with that Soul and Mar palette. I want the Mar one, the blue one. Even though I have blue eyeshadow. Do I need a blue eyeshadow palette, guys? Do I need it? No? Am I going to buy it? Yeah. All right, so I added some liner on the waterline. This is the Urban Decay um, pencil in Deep End. And I'm just going to smoke that out. 
I think with brown, not blue. The liner for the lash line. I love these lashes, they're so fluffy. They're huge. Uh, <laughs> I get them from Amazon. They're um, like full mink. But they're like really fluffy and lightweight, which I like. Of course, when I have like a dramatic eye, I like to wear dramatic lashes. I do wear light lashes sometimes. And I'm going in with my Kush mascara just to blend the roots. So I'm kind of like pushing up. So this is basically how I revive my curls. I washed it yesterday. So I'm just using a spray bottle, misting it all over. I'm gonna go in with the Camille Rose, what is this called? Camille Rose Moisture Butter. Um, it's the Curl Aid. It smells so good, it's so good. And I'm just taking a little bit, about that much. I'm just gonna pop that in my hair. This is gonna give it hydration. Define my curls a little bit more. And then just a little bit of gel. This is my Eco Styler. Supposedly Eco Styler is not that good for your hair anymore. Who knows? I don't know. It's gel. <laughs> I had some left, so I'm going to use it. And then as you can see, it just kind of helps to pump up my curls a little bit more so they don't look as frizzy. So I'm just kind of pressing that in. And that's it. That's it for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Got to learn a little bit about me. I don't know what else to talk about. I need to get ready with me. Hopefully I get a little bit more comfortable talking. But you know, normally I'm on my little, you know, to the point <laughs> um, aspect when it comes to my videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, a little something different. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you're interested in me reviewing next. And like I mentioned earlier, what made you subscribe to my channel? What video did you first see and you decided to click subscribe? And that's going to be it. So if you have not, please subscribe to my channel and please like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.